Well, here we go again then for round six of SBR Sim Racing BTCC Legends at Red Bull Racing Track, I guess you call it, short track. And it's the reverse grid. And as you can see, we have Chris on pole from Ash, Jeff, Ian, Coleman, Andrew, Alex, Dylan, Greg, and Lewis, the top 10, Liam, Adam, Nathan, Ben, and the race winner from the first race, Sean, in 15th. So let's get straight into the and then a re reminder of the grid, I've already told you, but why not? Um, flashing the lights from the cars, very excitable racing, this is the one they all look forward to because it's just chaos. And as we look at the back of the grid, and that's uh, Nathan with Ben in the background. And here we are then, the lights are all starting to come on, watch the rear wheel drive cars just not get off the line and watch the four wheel drive cars come through like a rocket. As we see in the dry, let alone the, the wet, and we're off. And Chris gets a good start and will lead quite convincingly. Greg's through like a rocket, and Alex just went sideways, unfortunately for him. And we can see in the background, Ben's down the inside, and I can see Sean's coming up through the middle. So Chris leads into the first corner. Jeff is in second with Ash in third. As five breast into the first corner, surely that can't work, but it has. No one's spun off yet. And Coleman there into third place, and Ash just dropping back a bit quite quickly. Greg's one to watch in this race as well after his pace in the first race. And just a cloud of sti uh, spray now as we wait for everyone to just file through. But it looks like a good start for Dylan as well. Ash sideways in thir third or fourth place there. And over the rise and look at the pack as they come through and just a cloud of spray. It's quite difficult to know what's going on at the moment. But it is Chris that's going to lead still. Chris doing a great job. Jeff second sideways again from Ash. And that looks like Ian's going to get down the inside of him. Dylan tries to go around the outside. Lewis hits him up the back and Lewis actually will gain a position on the exit I've, by the looks of it as they head down towards turn one for the second time and <coughs> let's see what happens there <coughs> and it is now Jeff now leading and through goes Coleman as well Chris goes deep and that will allow Ash through as well so now Chris starting to drop back M more collisions into the first corner looks like Nathan was involved and basically everyone's side by side with somebody like pick a dance partner and let's go Jeff leads though and it is Coleman second Ash in third Lewis up to fourth Dylan around the outside for fifth Ian's there Ben's already up to eighth place and Adam's ninth he's fast as well as well as Sean the previous race winner Ben up the inside of Ian and Chris that won't work surely and the fix better of it in fact and follows Ian through as he passes Chris and Ben will follow suit now into the last corner and Adam's there to pick up any pieces. Chris run out wide a little bit there and the rest will come back through. Chris driving another sensible race. He's maybe not one of the fastest but he is one of the most professional. He's letting these guys go. He kind of knows where he wants to be. Liam's had a shocker and so is Greg again. Greg at the back again. And He's got so much pace this weekend, he'd be pretty gutted with that. Liam won't be happy either. And Coleman now leads from Jeff with Lewis passing Ashley there into turn two. Dylan with Ian right behind him. And Nathan's not made a lot of progress. He's up to 12th, but expect more from him. And, and now Ian's under pressure from Ben trying to go around the outside into the last two corners we go. And is that going to work? Sean or looking at Adam as well as the two BMWs go at it and a bit of side by side contact into the last corner it's difficult to see what's happening and Ian sideways and that's allowed three cars past him he's done his little drift technique and three cars go past him unfortunately and Ben just covering off Adam and Adam almost had a run on him and he's just managed to cover him off as they go into the first corner and has done Adam will try and go around the outside that's not going to work contact and more contact on the exit and that's put Adam sideways uh, trying to go around the outside at turn one's always a risky business and it's just not worked out for him felt like he had to have a go at it though and now he's dropped back three positions and Ian's got one of his positions back penalty there that looks like Andrew's got a penalty and Greg's got a penalty as well as he starts to catch back up to the pack Coleman leads though brilliantly from Jeff and looks like Ben's up the inside again now of another car and this time it's it's Ashley in his uh, <laughs> lifeboat and through goes Ben but Ashley's not giving up a brilliant switch back and down the inside goes Ashley and he won't give up Ben's trying to break late round the outside Sean's there saying go for it boys I'll have both of you 
but it looks like Ben's got it. He'll try to cover off Ashley, trying to see through the spray what's going on, and he's just done it. So Ashley trying to go around the outside with the BMW, but I think that's a done deal now. And Ben's through from the back to fifth now, and Sean's following him through. Here comes Nathan, he's fast as well. Alex a little bit wider, Andrew wider, and Liam's coming back, and Greg now starting to make positions as well. And that's that's Nathan off the championship leaders off at turn one. He's lost the back of the Lexus, and he's round, and he's dead last again surely that's going to be the, the loss of his championship lead after that because Ben and Sean are flying through the pack wow didn't expect that fifth and sixth for Ben and Sean who are coming through from the back is Jeff now attacking Dylan around the outside or is it Dylan attacking Jeff down the inside I think it's the latter Dylan's through and Jeff has a little look but not really on Dylan's got good pace Ashley now with Adam right behind him and we look through the pack there's Liam 11th now Greg up to 13th make that 12th if we can get down the inside of Andrew into turn one and it looks like he's just about got enough speed in the Mazda to get it through the Wick sponsored car and there's Chris now dropping back a bit more and Nathan recovering back in into 14th place now as Chris gives him space again great driving from Chris as, a, as always but it is now out front still Coleman Ben and Sean are tapping each other and trying to while well they've got a bit of space trying to sort this out Sean's definitely got the pace this weekend he showed it in the first race and he's trying to show it now and it's side by side contact along the straight you can tell these two know each other they're quite happy to rub and into the last two corners Sean will try and hold it on the outside but it's never going to work the car on the inside will always drift out and Ben holds his fourth pla place for now. Jeff sideways. That will allow Adam through, I would have thought. Maybe Ian. I'm not sure. It is a nice battle pack with Liam, Greg. Uh, slowing Andrew as he tries to take his penalty. And that allows Nathan through. And Nathan's flying back up through the field. Up to 11th place two laps ago. He's last. And there's a bit of something going on at the first corner. That's Jeff. And he looks like he's slowed down. He must have had contact with Ian. Not quite sure what's happened there. And... Liam with a no penalty <laughs> interesting and Greg with now point eight. and look at Nathan Nathan is flying back he's probably angry with himself either he lost it or someone contacted him but we didn't see it and Liam's off as well Liam's off at turn two he's lost the back of the car and now he drops to the back no one really wants to win this race do they meanwhile at the sharp end it's Coleman from Lewis and Lewis looking really aggressive he hasn't won a race somehow this this season He's always been there, but he hasn't won a race. And Ian still doing his drifting tactics. But Lewis surely is favourite for the win at the moment. But he needs to get quickly past Coleman and try and win this race. As Greg, on his comeback through the field, is up to 8th place now down the inside of Jeff. Jeff won't fight that too hard, I would have thought. Greg quite deep into the corner, but blocks him. And then Nathan might even get both of them here on the exit. Great bit of driving from Nathan as he shows why he is the championship leader at this point. And down the inside of Greg, and that's a done done move. Greg's slightly wide. I'll have to try and cut back to try and keep Jeff behind him, and he's done it. But Nathan's overtaken half the field in in about uh, three laps. Uh, Alex is in the wall again. We're hearing rumours that he won't be in the series after this race, so uh, we wish Alex all the best. And thanks for your contribution, mate, to the series. But Alex will leave the championship after this race and be replaced by Bob. Um, very excited to see what Bob can do. But back to the racing now, and it still looks like it's Coleman that's leading, but this is now the group that's catching. The uh, guys that are fastest in the first race are now catching back up to leaders. Dylan wide. Will that allow Ben through into third? Remarkably. Fourth and fifth for the guys that start at the back, and they've flown through this field. And, st and that's Lewis wide. Lewis is on the grass, and he won't recover that. The grass is horrendously slippery. Will he get fifth? No, Adam snuck through as well for, for fifth. So he's down to sixth for Lewis, and he's just not destined to win a race, is he? Let's face it. Meanwhile, Coleman's doing a fantastic job still leading this race. It's about half distance now, and he's still leading. With Dylan, Ben, and Sean now closing in, so it's going to get harder. And... Yep, credit to Coleman and Sean down the inside of Ben and he's taken the place. Great move by Sean using the extra grip he's got and he's taken the place and Nathan's still on the march. He's up to 7th now and he's dragging Greg along with him. As Greg now works the back of Ian, tries to get down the inside and try and take positions to the first corner but we know that 
Uh, also, we know that Ian's car is slightly quick on straight, so let's see if he's no, he's not managed to do it, Greg. His car is one of the slower cars on the straight, but has a lot of grip, and it looks like one of the better cars of of the race meeting. Ben back down the inside of Sean, meanwhile, so he's not given up. As Dylan tries to take the lead, that won't do it, but looks good for the cameras. And Ben's still holding off Sean, so Sean's obviously uh, just engaged in battle, these pair. And they've actually kind of forgot about the lead battle, but Coleman's still doing a fantastic job to hold on. And I'm sure he can hold on. No, he can't. He's sideways. Dylan's going to have a look down the inside, surely into the last corner. That won't work. Dylan, <laughs> Coleman sideways again, and he's blocked Dylan. There's contact. Ben and Sean come at full speed and overtake both of them, looks like. Can't see because of the spray, but it looks like they got a great run on both of them. And Ben's passed Dylan, so Sean. Now they're working on Coleman into the first corner. And Ben's through up the inside, breaks late. Sean dives down the inside as well, takes the position. And that is that. These two are back at the front incredibly from the back of the grid. That's insane. And they've done it. Now can Sean take the take the win as Coleman's going wide again? We'll just cover that a minute. And sh yeah, Coleman's gone wide and he's lost in half a lap. He's gone from first to sixth. And that's depressing for him, but there's still a great drive by Coleman. He's definitely getting the hang of it now. He's struggled to start with, but Coleman's a great driver and he will get on top of it. But going back to what I was going to say, Sean could do the first ever BTCC double that we've had if he can pass Ben for the win. He did it in the first race as... Dylan holds off Adam. Adam's looking strong as well. He was strong in the first race but faded towards the end. And great run there from Sean out the last corner as we get a great view from the drone camera as they head in towards turn one. Sean will look to the outside. Ben's covered the inside. And meanwhile, Adam's looking down the inside of Dylan. That could work. If he can break late enough. I'm not sure. He'll get a good camera angle. And Ben keeps the lead but Sean gets out of that corner again just like the first race. Gets out of there so well. And he'll retake the lead. So the double is on. But he's gone wide. Ben will look down the inside. Can he get it? No. Nope. Sean's covered that off. Dylan's still keeping Adam at bay. With Lewis right on the back of him. And Coleman now with Nathan right behind him. Nathan on a right charge as we said. So up in towards the latter part of this lap. And we're about three quarters of the way through the race now. And Sean leads but he's defending a little bit from Ben. Ben will try the cut back and he's taking it. And oh, a bit naughty that one bit difficult to judge but probably a little bit naughty from Ben just pushing Sean wide there and looks like he might be giving the position back again it's a bit of a tough call Sean was wide Ben tried to get the, the move done but with these four wheel drive cars as soon as you touch the throttle you understeer straight on so maybe that they'll think about that but looks like he's kept the position Sean's probably just let him carry on but now Adam and Lewis good friends but not right now they're not and Adam retakes the position by looks. So it looks like Lewis took it, and then Adam's taking it back. And that's a Hyundai, the Toyota, with Ingram against Ingram. So uh, interesting. Meanwhile, in the background, Nathan is past Coleman and up into sixth place menacingly. He's cut through the field like a knife. And he'll try and make further progress to try and protect his championship lead, which Ben took a little nibble out of in the first race. Second for Ben, third for Nathan. But Lewis and Adam battling like friends do. It's always a bit more intensity when it's friends. And, yep, Lewis now is trying to get a good drive at the last corner to take a look at Adam at the first corner. Not sure on the speeds of these cars. I think they're pretty similar. But one thing's for sure, Nathan's car's fast because he is there. He's onto the back of these guys very quickly. I'm trying to cover all the battles, but it's quite hard to follow them all. There's battles all down for the field, but here is... Ian in ninth place looking for his first points in the British Touring Car Series there's Andrew in 10th Liam's recovering again for 11th Jeff slowly slipping back like the first race in 12th Chris doing a great job in 13th and just keeping it on the track doing a steady job Ash has had all sorts of issues in his last Ben down the inside of Sean didn't see that coming he's looking for it he's, he thought about going back in behind Sean but he's, he has taken the move with a little bit of rubbing he probably feel like he pushed Sean wide there so he's letting back through but these two are not holding back and Dylan sat there thinking anytime soon I'll be leading this race again and Adam still holding back Lewis but Nathan is on the straight this is the bit that he likes and he might have a little look down the inside into turn one Coleman's just a little bit weavy with Greg behind him 
But no, everyone holds position. Uh, Lewis got a great run out of the first corner, but Adam saw it and he's covered it. Oh, sideways from Lewis. And, well, Nathan actually kind of messed up that corner and that's lost him a lot of drive. And Greg now with past, is past Coleman as well. So Greg moving forward slowly and he may even catch his group by the end of the race. Probably got like, a, I would say, three or four laps left. And here's Liam trying to get back into the points as well. And Ash is having a bit of a lonely race, unfortunately, for him. And here are the leaders. Sean leads again still with Ben right behind him. And it's pr pretty much a replay of the first race. He's just about within range but can't really attack. Sean's just got the advantage this, this weekend. But anything can happen. There's still plenty of time left in this race. Penalties are an issue. We've seen that in the first race. And Dylan doing a great job holding on in third. And looks quite settled there oh, Lewis is completely drifting around the first corner that's because Greg is catching very very quickly like I say said in the first week Greg doing a great job Liam though is caught Andrew and will attack at the first opportunity and back into the points for Liam his yo-yo racing continues he's been up he's been down and now he's back again so yep Liam apparently going to change liveries for the next race into the BTC Norden racing car Josh Cook so uh, that'd be interesting to look at a grey and a pink car on a BMW look an interesting livery is being made as we speak by the brilliant Darren um, also shout out to Ash who's in the BMW in this race in the red BMW he also makes us liveries and we're really thankful to those guys for making those they do such a great job for us as we head into the first corner and it's Nathan still looking at the back of Adam and sideways from Adam and that will surely allow Nathan through can he get around the outside though that's the thing nope Adam's maintained speed so and in the front we can see Ben and I was just about to say Ben and Sean are pretty much side by side again at turn two but it looks like Sean's held it and they're pulling away now from Dylan and I think Nathan can see that and he's getting a bit desperate now he needs to get past Adam meanwhile Liam moving on to the back of Ian and here is the battle for the lead as we're getting into the closing stages now Ben probably having like one more go but he'll be mindful of the fact that he could close the championship gap on Nathan very well to pretty much nothing if it carries on like this so he isn't going to risk everything Nathan in fifth though could get past Adam for fourth and that will probably keep him the lead of the championships important to point out the championship and there is Lewis who's dropped back a bit more and Greg's now very much on him and that's Nathan there getting a good run out of the first corner. Was it too good a run though? Let's see. Yes, it was. It looked a bit too much of curb. And that's a half a second penalty. He's in wide. He's gone wide again. Nathan's off again for the second time in this race. He drops down to sixth. And that's not such a bad idea. He's sideways again. He's lost it. And he's turned his Lexus into a lawnmower. And in this, this weather, that will take forever to get off that grass. And he's down to seventh place. <coughs> Disaster for Nathan. He's having one of those races. And it's. A bad timing so even more reason now and you can see Ben drop straight back from Sean he understands the situation he knows that he can take the championship lead if he just stays in second place and it's no choice anyway because Sean's going to win and he's done the double an incredible race second for Ben third for Dylan would he keep that no Adam takes third fourth for Dylan fifth for Lewis we almost lost it to Greg on the line he's sick Nathan comes across seventh Coleman eighth ninth for the recovering Liam 10th is anyone's it looked like it was Ian's Ian's got his first point in the touring car series 11th for Andrew then 12th for Jeff 13th that's better from Chris he was a lot closer to the guys he's only about half a lap down I would say it's a good race from Chris and at the back is Ash in his uh, lifeboat special but incredible from Sean to win two races tonight one from the back of the grid remember and uh Wow, that will promote him up the championship order quite a lot. But we expect Ben now to be leading the championship. Nathan having a disastrous race. He was back up to fifth and he didn't really need to risk it. But he lost the car and the championship lead. So the winner is Sean from Ben. Adam gets his first podium, I believe, in third. Dylan fourth. Lewis fifth. Greg sixth. Brilliant drive. Seventh from Nathan. Unlucky. Eighth for Coleman who held on really well to start with ninth for Liam and the last point goes to Ian and his first of the series that we mentioned and it's Andrew, Jeff, 
Chris and Ashley. The points though, Ben now leads with a big cushion over Nathan, Sean up to third from fifth, then it's Dylan, then it's Lewis and Adam closing in on the, the guys in front of him, Liam is then seventh, Jason didn't race tonight is eighth, Coleman ninth, Greg shoots up to tenth after no points in the first few races. That was an incredible race. Join us next week. We're at Dragon Trail and two more incredible races from SBR.